So I'm actually doing my self practice. I thought of like sharing with you some components I do. And when I do my self practice, I just focus on specific elements. Yeah. Particularly deep back bends. Yeah. Strengthening components through unbalancing and mobility. Yeah. Dynamism and deep hip openness. Yeah, so this practice is advanced, yeah, but now you might gain an insight or two, and learn you know, how to refine your technique there, as maybe you practice with me, okay? So I will start in the Mat Sacred Dasana, yeah, mostly yeah, to lighten the hips, and then with that blanket under the hips, the body is relaxed, okay? And just folding the head to the side, and then circle around that extended leg, yeah. This space way for the opening of the hips, the sacrolumbar region, at the same time allowing the spine to relax. When our spine is resting, uh, facing downwards, the discs naturally open. Yeah? And then kicking that knee uh, and circle that for a round two. All right, just prepare the block if you're working you know, with the dynamic ones. But I'll show you some modifications. If you don't have the block, it's fine. All right, so that right arm opens wide across, and then just flipping over that shoulder. And here, I would you know, try and then move the next you know, by turning the head in the opposite direction to the chest and away from that shoulder. I will give this left arm some rubbing around and a mild swinging. All right, you can do both knees, yeah, up to kneel. And have the flexibility is there, linking your hands towards the back. Right. And then just rubbing the hips. So like you're using your hips and your knees, yeah, you to counter and at the same time, Deepen your experience. All right, and back to the middle. Bending both knees, and then the head falls in circle around. Crisscrossing, you know, swimming, pointing and flexing the ankles and then the toes too. All right, and the hands beside the chest. And the forehead down, and then move the shoulders around. And then waving the hips as well. Right. And from there, I would normally just flip to a light extension. And then from that extension, to downward facing dog. Yeah. If you're working on a blanket, you can just fold them, so you can just keep your hands and your feet gripping the floor. All right, alternating three-legged dog. I would normally do this too, lifting the leg, yeah, passively opening the hips. You can rub one leg more than once. All right, you can circle around the joints. All right, and the left knee sits through between the hands since we've worked the right leg first, and just moving a hip, yeah, side to side them. All right, and a mild you know, forward bend with a component of hip opener as well. And here, I'm going to let the breath flow. Opening the right and the left channels first. That's how I approach the practice, and in between, I would do a symmetrical one. Really nothing complicated in the warming up. All right, and from there, I would do a side press, yeah, with that bottom arm there reaching over, and then hand to floor, and the right leg goes high to the free leg of dog, and I step that foot through between the hands, right foot forward, so I can just do one or two standing you know, asana, and then reach and open, so I do this a lot, yeah, side stretching, compounded um, techniques, so I can save the time. Okay, and then from there, I would just when melted the opposite leg, turning that knee, rolling the other hip inward, lower to the floor, and reach the side angle position. And then breathe. 
Uh, you can bend and stretch the knee. And the hip falls and open. And then stay. All right. And then the hands down. Turning the legs inward. Chest opens. And then moving side to side as well. And then from there, I would normally do an arm balance. You can do a bakasana or... Yeah. For this round, I'll try to do a hand press. All right. You can inch your legs closer. Pakasana is when you're doing this one. Yeah. So this is your yeah, easy position. Yeah. But if you've done working on your handstand, why not? Yeah. Bounce forward and back. Yeah. You can adjust your legs and ease the shoulders. Right. Working the breath, of course, as always, is the most important. And then down, <laughs> all right, S squaring to the front of the mat again. Good. And then stepping and switching the legs. So it's the left knee in front. And rise the way you want. Yeah. And then side to side your shoulders. And do this. You know, circle around. Like you can do your yeah, variation of the Nauli Kriya, like you're dancing the belly around yeah, to activate those inner muscles and rubbing the tongue as well good and i'll do a twist all right crossing the arm and an easy twist only and just to mobilize the spine in various directions and breathe well done all right free your twist and then step to the back downward facing dog and then marching the dog we are pedaling and stretching the knee Right, right leg goes up. Good. And we're sliding that knee through. You can do a low knee like this. Or I would normally do the Hanuma Nasana. Yeah. And moving that hip and the shoulders. If you need a prop to support you, you can place yeah, a block under your front hip. All right, I might rub the hip there. This prepares me for the back bend already. And then forward a bit, and then scoop upwards, and then rotating in and out of those hip joints. All right, and if the readiness is there, fall over that hip. And while you're down, you're feeling the edges rubbing in and out of the hip, but be careful when you do this, unless you have that Breathing sorted, yeah, I suggest you take it easy. This is an advanced practice. Should not be done in a cold body. All right, come up. All right, and then both legs in front of us just to keep a mild shaking, yeah, and then kicking and stretching. I do lots of joint releasing. That's actually my secret. I don't force my body. I do lots of fanning and rotation, you know, random movements, you know, shaking the hands as well. All right. And from there, yeah, I would just move to the back. You can just step or you can jump behind you. You're know, pressing and flowing. And then the upward facing and the downward facing. All right. And then just marching in place again. All right. So that's the first round. Back to the flow from the top. Yeah, I like to use the blanket you know, to keep my body supported as I do the technique. Beautiful. All right, this time, yeah, bending that knee to the side and circle around that foot. Yeah, kicking and stretching. Feels good this one, yeah. My favorite. Yeah. 
asana. And here, there's many variation. You can rub that arm around. You can even grab hold of the foot from behind. Yeah. Keep going. Make sure my microphone is not <laughs> failing. All right, shoulder stretching. It's time for the left arm, flipping over the side, one leg or both legs. Yeah, don't force this arm. Yeah, keep this palm facing down so you don't want to rotate. Yeah, it's this arm doing the work. And then you're grabbing hold of the space between your thumb and your first finger. Sometimes I would stretch the legs. I can rub the spine around, looking away and around the neck joints. And then settle for another you know, breath or two there. Beautiful. All right, rotating to the middle, <laughs> crossing the arms, circle the knee around. And side to side, swimming. Okay, rubbing the shoulders around, flippy elbows. And then crawl forwards. All right, a mild extension. And the Adho Mukha Shanasana. All right. Just much in place, yeah, side to side the hips. Good, and the alternating three legged dog, lifting, circling around. All right, as the lift foot stepping up, all right, you can set aside your blanket now, we won't be using it anymore, and then just do a second warrior. All right, and then free flowing, stretching and bending. Inhale and open, exhale and releasing. Yeah. Just keep practicing, inhaling and exhale. All right, and then flowing to the other side, turning the other hip, side angle position. You may fold the hip and then lightly arch it. All right, and then the wide-legged forward bend, forward and back. Good. And then you can also move to a bit of a lunge, alternate. All right, and then to the front again. You do another round of your squat position, the bakasana, or I'll do another round of the hand press. If it doesn't happen, it's fine. There's always a tomorrow. Yeah. Breathing through it. Just make sure if you're doing the hand press, there's nothing getting in the way. So if you fall, you won't be tripping. Yeah? Good. Using the breath. Keep it focused, keep breathing. And touch the ground, downward facing dog, marching the dog, side to side as well. All right, yeah, keep breathing. Good. All right, stepping up the left foot or right foot, and the heel down, rising up. First of all, yeah, right here. All right, the shoulders around, crouching and bending. All right, rub the shoulders around too, swinging your elbows. Good, and we're twisting this hand, yeah, side angle twist. 
Daisy Twist. And free your hands, squaring that back foot, and then just one side press. Inhale, combination of side press and side stretch. Hand down, lifting that lift leg, the front leg. You can rub that hip around. If you feel joints there trap, either the kneel or your hanuma. Uh, falling from hip to hip. Inhale, chest up. And this is my tighter side actually. So I need more time for my hips to loosen here. Even the arms and the body. All right, scoop it from the front. Inhale. And exhale, folding over that leg. But, and then try to your way down a bit. Calculated pressure. Ah. Yeah, so the inner thigh muscles, the muscles really hidden <laughs> under the superficial ones can stretch the connective tissues. About five mindful breathing cycles or even more. All right, and you rise to the front. Yeah. You can do a bit of this yeah, to loosen those hips. And maybe kicking those joints. But, yep. And then crossing. Yeah, if you're not jumping back, yeah, just bend to the side and to the back. You do your yeah, flow. Yeah. Inhaling to the back and rise upward. And exhale to the downward dog. And then marching in place, lifting the leg, now alternating. All right, and this next round is um, dynamism. Right, so you may utilize your block, you're supporting your way through. Do your jump. All right, nourish the breath in. If you're not jumping, crossing one leg at a time, yeah, without touching the floor, press on the other one, and you set through your hips. Okay, so let me just set this aside so it's not too cluttery. All right, and then just say, yeah, we've done the twist already, we've done the side stretch already. Now it's time to loosen a low back a little bit more in preparation for the back bend. All right, lying on the back and fanning side to side. You can do the swinging knee. I do this a lot too. Yeah, you can use the hand to open a little bit more on the inner pockets of your hip, the sacrum and the low back, and reverse. Joint releasing exercises. And side to side, you may place your hands under the head. Make sure you're breathing. Depending on the requirement of yeah, your cardiorespiratory system. Yeah. Okay. And then gently up and down, you rock the body. Right, easy, first roll to the side and find your way to the front and bringing your prop with you as you return so you can do another round. Yeah, three legged dog alternate. Right, if you're doing it freehand with the hands flat on the ground, especially if you're working on your strength. All right, crossing one leg at a time. You can place a foot down or try to press it so you're floating. But then from there, fitting those legs through and then sitting on the ground. All right. And a bit of this. Yeah, you will notice that your body is opening. Yeah, Slowly, slowly, but feels good and light. 
All right, side to side again. And rubbing that side maybe one or twice or even more. So if you notice, I do, yeah, do uh, asana techniques, and I'll just repeat, yeah, the sequence twice, and then going deeper each one. Okay, crossing up and down. If you're not rocking up the sitting, yeah, to the side, and then you just step to the back. Or oh, if the lightness is there, sit, press through the hands, and work your way to the back and you flow and to the back you stretch all right walking one more yeah you can do alternating three-legged dog yes all right you can repeat you know, crossing the knees or you can jump them through yeah, with or without the blocks and sitting on the ground, working those legs again, and then move them to a bit of a side to side. All right, back to the floor, under us, yeah, rolling a spine. This is our second round, circle round, side to side as well, and swinging knee. I'm, I feel my Lumbar spine is ready for some extension already. Yeah. Even the shoulders there. Okay, and for this one, we're gonna do a reclining side stretch, extending the right leg down, reaching the opposite arm over, and do yeah, a support there or a hand to foot position opposite. Right. You can place the, the arm here to open the inner hip. And breathe. And you can rub that opposite leg around too. But be careful, okay? My body is just so open now that I feel this one so light. But on a cold body, this could cause injury. Yeah? So you don't force yourself. And that's why you notice I keep moving. Yeah, turning and twisting, reaching that arm as well. So you can counter by reaching the same hand and the same leg, but the leg is crossing. And this opens the side throw. All right, come back. All right. And then do a bit of a side to side again. All right. When your body is so loose, be careful. You have to exercise much more care. Huh? Or sit. If you're not jumping, you're just folding to the back and then flowing to the ground and away from the floor and to the back. You stretch it down dog. Or alternating three legged dog. If you notice, I'm not too strict about aligning the body. I feel it more internally. That's yeah, the principle of the practice. Don't be caught up yeah, with the technicality of it. That's important. The breath and the body. But of course, you need to know the basics of alignment, like the hands pressing. Yeah, you're not stretching too much. Yeah, keep the knees supported as well. All right. You can just sit through or another way through the jumping transition. All right, and then back to the floor. Yeah, a few of this. All right, and then lie down again on the back, up and down. So if you notice, we're working those discs yeah? and opening them and letting them release the blockages. Yeah, how's the neck feeling? You do some neck massage there if it feels good. Uh, some shoulder releasing as well. All right, up and down to a gentle rocking. All right, and can we do another round of the side stretching? This time it's, yeah, your right leg down 
and the or the left leg down and the right leg over and you do your side stretch yeah. one side is generally tighter yeah. this is my tighter side yeah. and you can rub that leg circle around yeah. you can rub that side twice in a you know, rubbing motion and then settle a moment and breathe yeah. Opening now, yeah, the, yeah, the nadis, yeah, the right and the left channels. All right, and then return, changing leg, and circle around that leg. All right, and then cross that leg again. It's the same, I'm reaching over the head for a twist and a side stretch combination. Renee. All right, free it. Yeah, open the lower spine. Yeah, rocking up and down. Yeah, you can just sit or work your way up to your sitting with control. And pressing, inhaling, and to the back and curling the body up. All right, spine is ready for the back bend. All right, and just marching the legs and walking in place. <laughs> 